how to negotiate a commercial lease agreement with new tenants. As a landlord, you will need as much information on a prospective new tenant. This would typically include background and financial information, also previous profit and loss accounts, credit reports, lists of assets and liabilities, and possibly a business plan. In addition, you may need to speak to previous landlords. This would give you some background of what to expect from them. It is a good idea to talk to more than one current landlord to get an idea if the prospective tenant has had a bad experience with them. As well, the current landlord may be sick and tired of them and therefore happy to pass them on to you as a new landlord. Talking to one or more previous landlords would give you a better idea of the history. How they've been paying their rent and operating costs on time. In addition, what length of lease did they have? Therefore, they're reducing the possibility of any surprises. This would give you the insights required in considering any rent-free periods, what your lease term, whether to provide them with a long-term lease, annual rent increases, operating expenses, any options to renewal. Also, if there were any existing lease in place, and at a request to transfer the lease, you will need to do some checks on the prospective new tenant. The terms of a commercial or retail lease. So before a new tenant signs a new lease, it may be wise to talk to some of the landlord's other tenants as well. This can be easy to do if you're moving into a multi-tenant building as a new tenant. It might be a good idea to walk around to some of the other units talk to some of the tenants. Are they happy of how the landlord is treating them? Is the landlord doing a good job of maintaining the property? In addition, are they responding to requests whenever something needs to be repaired or sorted out? Have a quick walk around as much of a common area as possible. Many new prospective tenants know that some of the landlords love the idea of collecting rent on a regular basis with the property every month. On the other hand, they're not very excited about maintaining the property to the tenant's expectations. In conclusion, whether you're a tenant or landlord, you would need to cover these steps. Most importantly, to make sure that the next person that you'll be signing a new commercial lease with is indeed someone you want to do business with and be in a business relationship. Most importantly, ensure you do your homework talk to people who have already had a large or small business relationship with them. Everything may look great in initial presentations to you, but in reality, the real truth is what others have to say about their individual experiences with working with them. For a confidential, non-obligation conversation, please contact me on 029882221 or email me through the contacts on this video and website.